seesaw so it's very motivating <laughs> hi everybody it's a pleasure to me to introduce uh, Rajesh Shinde he is the phd at the university of bombay and uh, he is gsoc uh, conference sorry i have to remove the the audio from uh, from venures otherwise you listen that and uh, so uh, it's a pleasure to me to be here because i was a student a couple of years ago like 10 years ago and uh, it really beautiful to see a lot of young student uh, working and improving the OGL software so rashad it's everything for for you thank you luca thank you so much for the introduction a very good afternoon good morning good evening to all and it's very motivating to see an xz soc student as the session leader i look forward to my presentation and hope that you all will uh, like this so this is a brief presentation by us google summer of code administration team for 2021 regarding google summer of code with the open source geospatial foundation in this uh, special event of google summer of code in the fos 4g 2021 so a brief intro of ourselves we uh, are the google summer of code osgo administration team for 2021 i am uh, the presenter i am my name is rajesh shinde and uh, uh, another uh, administrator of our osgo gsoc team is rahul chauhan so a brief uh, i'll quickly introduce myself so i humbly participated in google summer of code 2017 as a student and then uh, i went on to become a mentor for the mapment organization till 2018 to 2021 this year also i was a mentor then in 2020 i got an opportunity to participate and contribute as organization admin then in between uh, i also participated as google code in mentor and currently i am also an osgo charter member since 2018 and the project steering committee member for zoo project so apart from me rahul's uh, uh journey with gsoc also started back in 2017 so he has done gsoc twice with osgo as a student and then this year he participated as a mentor for the pg routing community uh, his gsoc as a student was in ist sos community then from 2020 uh, onwards we both are uh, contributing as org admin he was also administrator and mentor for google codein and he has uh, currently uh, joined the league as always your charter member since 2021 now coming to google summer of code this talk this session is about google summer of code and the initiative of osgo with google summer of code so uh, google summer of code uh, famously known as gsoc is an online time bound collaboration between a student that is an independent developer an open source project which is a participating organization and google which generously funds the project so this is a small snippet which uh, we have taken from the official google summer of code marketing flyer so as you can see from the tagline it says that help us change the world one line of code at a time so over the last 16 years google summer of code has been uh, participating has been giving the new students an opportunity to contribute uh, in terms of code to open source organizations and this has helped a lot to the participating organization and also the students so we will come to that in the coming slides now uh, to get the full details you can visit the website as given on the official flyer g.co/gsoc now we now the question arises uh, what is the role that osgo plays in google summer of code so as i, I briefly mentioned osgo is an umbrella organization and osgo has been participating since the second year of inception of google summer of code which is a very very big achievement because google summer of code uh, actually started in uh, 2005 so 2021 was 16th year of gsoc and osgo has been participating in uh, since 2006 so this was 15th year of osgo participating in gsoc as a umbrella organization so i find myself 
uh, very much obliged and very much uh, proud to be a part of organization administrator team and also uh, uh, regarding the journey which i have uh, spent with uh, google summer of code working with osco because it has personally it has given me a lot of things uh, which you had seen in my introduction so osco is an umbrella organization which means that uh, several different projects or several individual projects participate under the umbrella name of OSEO and OSEO then applies for Google Summer of Code as an individual organization. Now these projects include uh, OSEO projects, the community projects, and then there are guest projects like Mapment, uh, Mapment for ME, which comes as a guest and uh, apply as an OSEO organization for the Google Summer of Code. Now, uh, coming back to the participation process. So with respect to students, uh, the participation process, it uh, usually starts around September, October uh, of an year. So uh, since the GSOC 2021 has just ended, so the commencement of the next year's GSOC would uh, be very soon and the announcement would be there. So as soon as we get to know the announcement by Google open source team, we uh, send the announcements to summer of code mailing list and discuss mailing list so if you are a student uh, looking forward to the opportunity for google summer of code 2022 then you should definitely subscribe to SOC and discuss mailing list and look out for our announcements then the next step is to identify the projects of your interest so you can draft an introductory email that my name is this this is i work here i am a student in this 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 year I, I am interested in this project and I'm very much uh, looking forward to contribute to your project. Uh, it will be good for my career as well. And after drafting this introductory email, you can send this introductory email to the projects um, which you look forward to apply and work with. Now, many of the times a question with my experience, which I have got from a lot of students is, I don't know much of programming. So should I apply or not? Now, to answer this question, in the last year's Mentor Summit, we raised this question to uh, many of the Google open source uh, volunteers and team members as well. And the response we got from them was many of the organizations are not hardcore programming organizations are, or they are not hardcore developer uh, based uh, organizations, but their, uh, their focus is more towards creating something which is open source in nature and useful to the uh, broader scientific community. So even if you are interested and you are ready to learn to code, then you should participate and send the introductory email to the project. Definitely, you will have to do some kind of coding and some programming, but you can learn it over the time. And uh, the mentors are there. These mentors are legendary in their own field and they will definitely help you. So if you are a student, just don't resist from sending the emails. Find the projects which you look forward as interesting and go and connect with them. In terms of projects, the participation process is uh, that the announcements would be there again on the discuss mailing list and everywhere. So if you feel that you want to float some topics for the that particular GSOC, so you can get in touch with us, the OSDO GSOC admins at gsocadmin at osdo.org and uh, we will help you with the further process. So this timeline would uh, mostly start after the announcement of Google Summer of Code for that particular year. And now coming to a very important question that since we have been participating as an organization for last 15 years, so how does GSOC really helps? Uh, so there have been a lot of discussion going around and uh, in the organization admin team also, we have been discussing this, that uh, does it really help the students or uh, when we became mentors? So it, it is a lot of, uh, lot of work for the mentors. So this year, uh, I particularly mentor for MapMint organization as well, along with uh, Gerald Fenoy and other uh, mentors for the MapMint team. So particularly, we had five students this year and uh, mentoring five students at a time is a difficult task. So in that case, the burden is too much. So uh, to address this, this particular slide we have made. So GSOC, it really helps students uh, to give them a chance to work in a global open source geospatial community. This might sound very trivial, uh, but yes, it is important for the student who is just trying to graduate with a degree or come out of a university where there are hundreds and hundreds of uh, fellow competitors, but then there is a chance to stand out against all of them just because they have worked in a global open source geospatial community. 
So it helps the students also to contribute to an existing code base, which would be useful to the users. And this I have seen, the third point I have seen from my personal experience. So when I sat in an interview, uh, I did not join uh, that recruiter base, uh, recruiter, but uh, when I, I sat in an, my interview, so my interview was cut short to only 10 minutes just because uh, my Google Summer of Code contributions were seen. And this has been uh, done over the years for some other students as well. I will uh, uh, present the official statistics also in the upcoming slides. But uh, the core point is that employers trust open source contributions and they look forward in students who have uh, produced time-bound deliverables and who have worked in a global community who have experience of communicating with a lot of developers over the over the globe and moreover it also assists them financially so that uh, the, the amount varies over the uh, over the period but yeah it definitely assists them financially now with respect to projects uh, yes it it gives them a good chance to groom younger generation into the community along with a feature which the uh, individual developer works on. So this feature, they get it in a time time bound manner in a three month period. So it is a very uh, win win situation for students and projects that students are getting something new feature in their software. And that could be a part of their next release. So and definitely there is an opportunity to focus on modular funded objectives. So what this means is uh, a bigger goal can be divided into smaller, smaller objectives, and then they can be supervised to be completed in a particular amount of time with uh, getting funded from uh, Google open source community. So this in all uh, creates a huge advantage and also creates a greater uh, impact for the community projects and the guest projects to join and participate a Google summer of code under OSC umbrella. The reason being they get a new set of developers in their community so that the work also gets uh, divided and then the progress is very uh, progress is very rapid uh, progress is very frequent progress is very supervised because you just have to supervise the developers and then it is also funded by some uh, third party which is google so yes, as I mentioned about the official statistics, so this statistics we have taken from uh, Google open source blog, which came as, uh, which came after the results were announced for GSOC 2021. So in this statistics, you can see that uh, there are a lot of big numbers. So 99% of students plan to continue working on open source. 94% of students will continue working with their GSOC organization. But for me, the most important part is this one, which says that 36% of students said GSOC has already helped them get a job or internship. And this 36% would uh, might be very less as compared to other numbers. But in total, 36% is very big uh, for a student community to directly get a job or internship just on a basis of three month experience. So this is a huge impact, which we are, uh, which we as uh, participating organizations trying to make. And thanks to OSU community members and projects for coming forward to do this. Now, I would uh, take this opportunity to introduce our OSU Google Summer of Code 2021 champions. So we had 12 uh, individual developers from all over the world participating as Google Summer of Code students for OSU. Uh, for, for QGIS, we had Francesco, uh, then Ashish and Vineet for PG routing. And uh, I would like to mention that Ashish uh, contributed to PG routing project for the second time this year. Then we had Aaron, Caitlin, and Linda uh, for Grass GIS project. And Linda again participated for the second time for Grass project under OSCO. Then we had five projects uh, for MapMint and MapMint for ME, which is the Android version of MapMint project. So we had Aryan, Aniket, Fatihi, Sandeep, and Saurav working for MapMint. And we had Han working for PostGIS who work on a sorting algorithm. Now, this was not at all possible without the contribution of the amazing OSCO GSOC mentors. So we had 18 mentors this time uh, for QGIS, uh, uh, PostGIS, GRASS, MapMint, and PG routing. 
and as admins and from on the behalf of entire OSU community, I would like to thank all of them for the great job they did over the summer in supervising these students because it is not an easy job to supervise someone who has just joined in your community. As I have experienced it being a student and being a mentor, when I was a student, I was just about, oh, I'm not getting to understand this, help, help, help. And then when you become a mentor, you see so many help questions and it is very difficult to decide how to help. So yeah, you have done a great job and thank you for uh, all your contributions. Now, special acknowledgements also goes to the FOS4G organizing team because from this year, this has been the first time when Google Summer of Code students are being given an opportunity to present their work in the uh, special FOS4G session. So big thanks to FOS4G organizing team. Big thanks to Google Open Source team for constantly uh, organizing the Google Summer of Code over the years. Big thanks to OSGO GSOC administration team, not us, the prior ones. They have set the platform very well for us so that we could very seamlessly get into uh, get, get on board and start working. OSGO GSOC mentors over the 16 years, over the 15 years. OSGO GSOC contributors, the alumni of uh, Google Summer of Code, the ex-contributors, ex-developers who are still there and helping some of the students with their code base and the entire OSU community. So thank you to all of you for being a part of it. Now coming to the uh, events and plans which are there in the upcoming period and some of the events have just concluded. So the upcoming event is GSOC Mentor Summit. Now this year as well, because of the pandemic, the Mentor Summit would be online. It is scheduled on Friday, November 5th. And uh, for the first time this year, uh, Google Open Source also introduced uh, first GSOC student summit. It was held online on August 27th. So yeah, and uh, and uh, coming back to the plans. So as a part of OSGO GSOC admin team, we are planning to prepare a draft for the GSOC administrators team manual uh, to ease the transition of admins. So a lot of steps are required from an admin perspective to uh, to announce about the program to get in touch with mentors to get in touch with students so and this all there is a, a possibility that the, there is uh, this possibility that something might be missed in between so we are uh, planning to prepare a draft of all the uh, events over the timeline so that it is it becomes very easy for the upcoming organizational uh, organization admins to be a part of the admin team uh, yes, so now coming uh, to the point of is there anything new in 2021? Uh, no, I'm not talking in terms of COVID. Yeah, I'm talking in terms of GSOC. So yes, so first thing is that GSOC students are getting free speaker tickets to present their work in special for 4G 2021 session. And all these presentations are lined up just after this presentation. So I know you all are uh, waiting for me to compile. So I'll do that very soon. And with, with respect to projects, so uh, yes, so one thing which the OSU board have approved recently is to uh, allow the mentor stipend, which is given by Google, to be used by projects for their requirements. And I think this is also a very great initiative and thanks to the board for this approval because uh, mentors, uh, they do spend a lot of time in working on this and the project mentors, uh, it will be up to them to use this stipend based on the project requirements. So very soon, uh, the further steps would be taken in this regard for Google Summer of Code 2021 as well. So uh, yes, with this, I thank you all for being a part of this presentation and thanks to the FOS4G team again for giving us an opportunity to present this uh, report. And if there are any questions, please reach us at Google Summer of Code admin at osgo.org. And you can connect with us offline also, even uh, to Rahul or me, Rajat. So I thank you all for your patience. Rajat, thanks a lot for your introduction to GSOC. It was really Thanks, wonderful to see all, all the number and uh, also know that uh, starting from student, you can grow, became mentor and uh, admin and uh, all the 